so how to bridle your horse for the first time or actually this this should be just how to bridle your horse to be honest because i don't understand why the majority of the equestrian world have this habit of doing it sort of this way or something like that you know when 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 you go to bridle your horse i mean she, this is she's never been bridled before so this is going to be a first time working through any issues that she shows but if you're doing this okay from underneath the horse and going up where's the pressure coming from pressure is coming from under and she's kind of learned over the the you know over her time with me that she should move away from most pressure okay so if she moves away from this kind of pressure where is she going to go her head is going to go up and then i'm going to be able wanting to chase her mouth while her head is all the way up in the air and for even the small horses it's not so easy to get to to, to kind of maneuver and fix it when when the horse is, is kind of doing that and learned how to escape from your bit. So it's it's much easier to sort of teach your horse to kind of drop their heads, keep it here so that they're nice and relaxed when you're on top of them right here, okay? What I normally do is I just get their nose in there and I just hold it like that, okay? And because we're doing it for the first time, I'm gonna take a step by step. So I'm going to introduce the bit and then I'm gonna release that pressure because she didn't pull away. Then. Okay, she's just taking the flies off there. So again, put it over her nose, grab that. Grab her nose, pull it towards me a little bit. There, now release. Again. So now if she pushes up, she's gonna feel pressure, right? She's gonna feel pressure from the on top of her head because my arm is right there. So that will encourage her to move away from that pressure. She just needs to bite at the flies. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna encourage her to move away from that pressure and keep her head down. So next step is I'm gonna put my thumb through this ring here, okay? And I'm just going to get her used to me touching her lips, releasing, touching her lips, releasing, touch, release, touch, release and then I, when i'm over here i'm just going to stick my thumb in the side of her mouth and pretty much that's it no drama no fighting easily introduced and then when i release it i'm going to release it very slowly she wants to play with it that's fine <laughs> So it doesn't knock her teeth on the way out, right? That's an important factor. It's got to be a relatively enjoyable process when you're introducing the bit to your horse. So there, so she's moving her nose away. I wait, then I release, wait, stick my, no, release, here, release, here. Stick my thumb in rub her the roof of her mouth oops that's okay next step is a lot of people pull the bridle over their horse's ears what i tend to do is push the bridle so this is a bit too small for her I need to make it a little bit longer. So I take it off nice and gently. And in this I'm gonna make it much longer than I need it to be. Here we go. So I stay with her here. She did not want to take that. Now watch, I wait, 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 release. So when she stops fighting me, stops resisting, that's when I release. So watch, no response, release. Here, I keep going with that, release. 
here. She's resisting. She's putting her head up a little bit. I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stay, stay, stay. Release. Again. Stay, stay, stay. Release. Now this time I'm going to put my thumb in. Ask her to open her mouth. Feed that bitten nicely. Okay, so here's how it goes. Push the ear in. That's one ear. Push the other ear in. <laughs> it's still a little bit short. I'm sorry. And now, please, if you can just come in a little bit. There is no reason for the horse to have these wrinkles on their lips, especially when you first introduce the bit. Okay, that is just a, a constant pressure that is there that really means nothing to the horse or eventually it'll start to mean nothing to the horse. So when you're first bridling your horse, even though her tongue is over that bit, it doesn't matter, okay? The most important thing is that this bit is not pulling on the sides of her mouth. Because you want any kind of pressure that you apply, <laughs> apply to that bit to actually mean something. So I'm going to just let her wear that for a bit while we talk. Okay. You want any kind of pressure that you apply to that bit to actually mean something. You want it to, to, to be as, <laughs> as soft. Maybe that's a little bit too low now. So we need to bring it up one. Okay, so when I'm introducing the bit to her, let's say I'm going to be riding her eventually with the bit. I want this to be no pressure, then this to actually mean something here. So when I pick up on one rein, I release when she gives to that pressure. So you can see that bit is over her tongue. Ideally, we want her tongue to be underneath that bit. Release. Let her just get used to, to wearing that a little bit. <clears throat> there we go. Her tongue is underneath the bit now. <laughs> so if there's uh, I want you to when, when you go back to working with your horses I want you to kind of audit yourself and ask yourself questions like why do I do this and why do I do that so for example why do I put my 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 um, my bride lawn so tight why does there have to be one wrinkle or two wrinkles or three wrinkles in their lip you know if you can't find a logical reason for it, especially when you're starting your horses, then give them as much freedom as possible. Um, yeah. But you know, I just wanted to show you how to bridle your horse.